have a minute and seven seconds. Okay? So when you do this in the future, make sure that you come with two minutes of music so that you have at least a minute and a half. Okay? Got it? Oh, well, but we at least we got a chance to work together. Okay, off you go. Keep up the good work. We have a trio from White Pine Middle School playing Largato. And you're going to give me 10 seconds. Just 10 more. seconds. Okay. talking everything's about you guys. Huh? <laughs> no NR. All right, so we have a larghetto. What is a larghetto? Very slow. Oh, all right. A larghetto is a tempo marking, isn't it? As opposed to a gavotte, which is a Or a bore, which is a dance piece. Also a dance, a music piece, but it's a dance, all right? So a Largato is really talking about the tempo. Who was Stravinsky? Do you have a clue who Stravinsky was? Very good. Is he still alive? Well, when do you think he died? Or when do you think he lived? He's actually a 20th century composer. There's a pretty modern piece here. Playing something from the 20th century, not the 16th century or the 17th century. Okay, so I expect to hear some interesting chord structures in here. Ready? Not too interesting. <laughs>
Well, you're a study in patience. You just get to be the nice support color there all the time. That's very sweet. A um, little bit of Maldi when you brought it was your finally your turn. You brought it out, which was nice. When do you have the Maldi? When do you have the Maldi? Yeah, just a little. Yeah, just a few little notes every now and then. All right, what does the word contabile mean? Again, here we have this greatest, amazing, most amazing resource time in the history of the planet. You don't even run to the dictionary. You just go online or your cell phone to find the answer. What does contabula mean? What does it mean? Any parent? No Italian? Hmm. Contabula means to sing. Wouldn't that have been nice to know? Perhaps it would be important to look at the things that are in the music. Do you think there's a clue on the page as to what he wants? Say yes. <laughs> okay, you need to be better detectives, my friends, all right? Not just figuring out the rhythms and the notes and the, and the dynamics, which you did so nicely, and things like retard, which you did, all right? But also what the rest of those notes mean. Now, with the knowledge that this means contabile, let's go back again. And just play the opening again and see if we can get it more singingly. How are you going to play more singingly? More singingly. Okay, what else? Louder. Louder. Not necessarily. Oh, well, let's see if we can get some vibrato going here. All right, one more time, just to begin. Okay, toots. certainly helps. And, it, and singingly, we wouldn't make a very choppy sound, would we? All right, so you guys are doing a nice job of letting it. When the, the bow stroke that we want to use is called flotando. You just want it to let it to float. So even though you paid for the whole bow, no, uh, uh, just use a little bit, all right? One more time, you guys. One, now. strings. Is that the same quality of sound? No. no. So you want to experiment with, oops, as I throw your shoulder rest on the where you could play that and even be more musical. Mm -hmm. Where could you play on your instrument, which may be in a whole other position you've never been in before, on a whole other string, just for the heck of it, all right? But you want to try and avoid the open string, all right? Because that open string is pretty neon, isn't it? Yes. It's kind of strident and it's kind of attacks your ear. Or if you can find it on the A string, perhaps, or in another position with a lot of vibrato support, it's going to be more beautiful. So that means you get to be really creative about where, where on the fingerboard we play that. Yay. High five for you. Okay. So you want to work with that kind of concept in mind. All right, guys? All right. Simile, which you understood means similar. Now, you notice that my bow stroke, even for your part, was done in what part of my bow? You didn't see me play that in the in the frog, did you? <laughs> yeah, very little in the, in the lower half. And when you get down here where it's forte, then you want to be more strident, but not especially heavy. So you want to rethink how to make those sounds, all right? And again, with the greatest resources in the world, in the history of the world, you can go onto the internet, to YouTube, 
and put in Stravinsky or Largetta and see what pops up and listen to some examples of that. You guys have absolutely no excuse in your generation for not being able to find every sound bite <coughs> of everything that was ever written on the planet unless the guy just wrote it yesterday. You have the best resources in the world. You're the most fortunate people in the history of the world because you can do that. All right, use those tremendous resources that you have. All right, and get curious. Look what's on the page and figure it out. Off you go. Take your entourage with you. <laughs> <laughs>